Hello everyone and welcome to the Video Gadgets Journal. This is an iOS device and over here is a direct screen recording of this very device. Such a thing used to be very difficult to do on iOS devices but now with the introduction of iOS 11 that's now possible through a built-in screen recorder. So this is your quick beginner's guide on how to use it. The first thing you need to have is at least iOS 11 installed on your device. Shown on screen now are all the compatible devices, so if you can update to iOS 11 and you want built-in screen recording functionality, now is the time to upgrade. If your device is not compatible with iOS 11, then all is not lost, but it is more tricky to record your iOS screen on previous versions such as iOS 10 and iOS 9. Fortunately, I have hundreds of videos on the subject, so check out my channel for more information. Once you have iOS 11 installed, go to settings and scroll down to the control center. Make sure that access within apps is enabled and then go into customize controls. Scroll down this list until you see screen recorder and then tap on the plus button. Now when you bring up the control center, you should see a new record button. Now just before you start your first recording, force touch or long press the record button to bring up the one setting the recorder has. This gives you the option to either record your screen with just audio from your device or with device audio and microphone recording too if you want to do voiceovers. In this first test we'll leave the microphone off. To start a recording simply press the record button. That will start a 3 second countdown, the record button will then turn red and if you return to your home screen you will see a red record bar at the top. So now you can go about your business while the screen records. When you want to finish your recording you can return to the control center and press the record button to automatically stop a recording or tap the red bar at the top of the home screen and confirm to stop recording. A notification will appear at the top of the screen and you can tap that to jump straight to the photo app to view your recorded video. For those interested in quality, the screen will record at the resolution of your device. In the case of an iPhone 7 seen here, that's 750 by 1334 with a frame rate of 55 frames per second or above. Another thing to note is orientation. The screen will record in whatever orientation you start the recording in. So if you want to record a landscape game, it's best to open the application first and then start the recording. If you don't, the recording will be in portrait, which means you may have to rotate the video in a video editor such as iMovie later on. Now a little bit more about the audio recording. If you decide to record with a microphone switched off, as long as your device isn't muted, the screen will record the volume at a fixed level no matter how much you adjust the volume. Watch here as I adjust the volume while recording. So obviously you could hear variations in the volume, but now listen to the final screen recording file. As you could hear, there was no change in the audio volume. Now for a demonstration of a screen recording with the microphone switched on. Remember to force touch or long press on the record button and switch on the microphone. You can then start the recording on this screen if you wish. So let's listen to the recording as it was done through my camera. So this is now a screen recording with the microphone switched on. So you should be able to hear my voice. Here's a couple of swipes, that's a recording, let's stop the recording right there. Now let's watch and listen to the actual screen recording. So this is now a screen recording with the microphone switched on, so you should be able to hear my voice. Here's a couple of swipes, that's a recording, let's stop the recording right there. And those are the very basics on how to use the brand new iOS 11 screen recorder. And this right here is a practical demonstration using Brawl Starts. Now of course screen recording can get a lot more complicated than the basics I've shown you here and there are one or two bugs with this screen recorder despite the fact that it is from Apple. I've charted those in my iOS 11 screen recording playlist that you can check out right now and if you want more tutorials on this screen recorder then let me know in the comments below and I will be doing more advanced tutorials in the future. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this then subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.